So, just another quick and handheld video about the new Six Effects mode that was introduced in the latest public release of Virtual GTA 2021, which is built 62-63 at this time recording. So, what is this all about? Well, it's about all about having six effect slots. I already did a video about that, but this one is about how you can map it to your existing controller. So down here, I have my existing controller, one of them, and this is a Pioneer TDJRSR, so a pretty old one, but still works. And it has a very classical way of handling effects, which is three on-off buttons and three knobs. And if I go up into the screen and watch, that normally handles, if you have one in effect mode, like I am now, that handles on off, and it handles changing the effects on the two next buttons, and then the knobs handles the first the first knobs or sliders up in the software. Now, if I then click the FX button to change to three uh, three effect mode, then the same three knobs down here now handle. Uh, now handle one effect each. So let's take the buttons first. So on off on the first one, on off on the second one, on off on the third one. And the first knob, the second knob, and the third knob. Like that. So we only have three knobs. How are we going to handle six effects? Well, I think we're just going to use the shift button down here. So we can do shift and the effects to do this thing. So uh, how do we map that? Well, it actually already has some mapping, some of it. So stuff you can't do uh, in three effects mode, you use your shift button to do. But we really can't do that in six effects mode. Well, because we only have three knobs and one and three buttons, and we don't want to do six things. So beggars can't be choosers, I guess. So we're got, just going to do the same as the, what the, the top layer, the, the without shift layer does with three effects, uh, just with the shift one. So how do we do that? Well, normally when you go between uh, three effects and six effects, uh, on one effect, you use an action script called effect underscore, sorry, this one down here, three slots layout. But as you can see, there's no six slots layout. So they probably haven't implemented that yet. So for now, we can't uh, use that in our mapping like we would normally do. So what do we do? Well, instead we look at settings because there is a six effects setting if you go into options. So if I look at three, three, you can see there's a, uh, at the top, skin, three effects layout. Uh, but there's also, if you put in six instead, a skin, six effects layout. Going to be set to no. So let's use that instead and then simply set that to yes right now. That means we go into six effects mode over here. You can also see it down here in the here. So when that is enabled, we can go between them here. That was what the last video was about. Um, so now we have six effects set up, but we of course also have to map it. So going back in here and go down to the mapping and my current controller, and then go now down to the effects buttons here. And of course, what we would really need to begin with is just shift effects. So go down to the shift down here. So shift effects. What's that do? Well, that detects, take the first button here, that actually detects if you're in six effect layout mode, and then it does effect four, this first one here. Otherwise, if you're in three layout mode, it does effect uh, uh, one, and otherwise it does effect one. But if we go into the next one, second one, you can see it does five, or it does the second one, uh, or out here in the end, it does button two on the first one. So we've basically just added the sixth one at the beginning of all these scripts. So now if we go into the shift mode, um, it handles effect four, five, and six. So are we done then? No, actually we have to do the same thing on the one that's labeled shift effects two, because that's deck B. Okay, same thing, but uh, 
Just remember that one. Are we done that then? No, because the original one, the one up here, that won't rem that won't know that you're currently uh, in six effect mode because it have never heard about it. So if you go into six effect mode, that will automatically think you're in one effect mode because you're not in three effect mode. So it'll do the one effect modes, which means you can't really handle the first three effects when you do this. So the first two doesn't matter because they do the same on both three effect mode and and six effect mode uh, and one effect modes. But if we go down here, we have to tell it that if you're in six effect mode, you have to do the same thing as if you were in three effect mode because um, otherwise uh, button and knob one, two and three won't work in six effect mode. So that's all the mapping. Actually, you can also do the LEDs, uh, change those for the shift so they, um, so they work. But since uh, uh, you don't see them, uh, just as soon as you let go of the shift button, I haven't bothered with that. But now with all this mapping, Let's see what happens if I click the first button, the second button, and the third button, and the first knob, and the second knob, and the third knob. And then I try with shift and the first button, second button, third button, and the same for the knobs here. Uh, kind of using a hand here, but you get the picture. So that's basically it. So now just to turn this off and on, I can just play a track and I can try stacking all these effects. One, two, three. And using shift, one, two, and three, we get four, five, and six. And some more money up again. So that's basically an example on how you can map on how you can map uh, these three knobs and these three buttons to handle all six effects when you're in six effects mode, and of course be like they usually are if you're not in six effect mode. And I'll put uh, all these scripts um, for 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 the buttons and the knobs, including what the walls for the for deck B in the video description so you can try mapping it yourself if you want to.